Hey PC World fans, Adam here at E3, uh, and I'm checking out the new controllers by my favorite, 8-Bit Do. Do! 8-Bit Do. I always mess that up. So first off, we have a couple updates, specifically to the SN30 Pro and the N30 Pro. Now, if you remember, I didn't give a great review to the N30 Pro, but this is the second version. Uh, and it does have some new features, including the new Bluetooth uh, syncing button. Uh, they said they've updated with Rumble and all the same stuff that had come to the SN30 Pro. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited to test it out, but once again, you know, the delay of the shoulder buttons uh, and also just the overall feel in the hands wasn't perfect. I still liked it, but I was more excited for the N30 Pro and this is the second version. It has some new features and also a new color scheme. Uh, this one is the Game Boy, which Game Boy was actually the first console that I ever used, uh, but I still like the, uh, the layout here. So they do have a couple new things, including the Zero Two. Now, I never tried the original Zero. The biggest problem I might have with this is that it's small, but also that's kind of the point. If you want something just kind of quickly put in your pocket uh, and play on the go, we'll see but it doesn't have all the functionality. Only two shoulder buttons, you know, obviously no rumble, no analog stick. So I think this, this is gonna be an option for more of the retro emulation kind of people. But really, this is what I came to see. The SN30 Pro Plus. Uh, this is just a prototype, so they don't have the, uh, the full functionality here. But as you can see, it's got the, the deeper triggers uh, and yes, uh, th these, this is uh, for AA batteries. Uh, they say they're gonna have a charging pack sometime in the future that you can uh, charge via the USB-C, uh, but we'll see. So this has most of the same functionality uh, as the SN30 Pro 2, uh, but in a, a larger package. You know, and even though this is a production model, in my hand, it actually feels pretty good. I like what 8-bit dough is showing off at E3 so far, so. I'm looking forward to getting some in for testing.